Good morning. It's the morning. Is it the morning, Levi? <laughs> Hey, my squishy face. I know. What's today? Like the 10th of February. It's Saturday. And what an eventful day we have ahead of us. Gonna go and sit out on the porch and enjoy some fresh air and then go back to bed for some rest because we're going to clear water tonight. Go. Dinder being so cute and weird. Dell being so cute and weird. Dog butts. Okay. Good boys. Outside with the fam, my furry fam. It's super foggy out. Welcome to Florida. It's a swamp. Surprise. I know you're so surprised. <sighs> All right. I'll. Let you know what I'm up to whenever I'm up to it. I'm in a significant amount of pain and my arms are burning really bad, so I have to shut off the camera. Oh my god, that hurts. Okay. See you around. Levi and I and Daisy are going to the vet because Daisy has a stitch left in her from her surgery, strangely. So we're just gonna take her to the vet. It was like hidden underneath the scab and then the scab fell off. So we're gonna go down there. I'm wearing my boyfriend jeans that are so tight. Normally I can take these off without um, unbuttoning the button, but my legs are so swollen. Look at my waist. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> I'm losing it. It's funny to me now. I think that's good that I'm, I can laugh at it now instead of being like, yeah, whatever about it, you know? Levi's here, he's being an excellent boy all morning. I gotta go in like two minutes. I just took Daisy back. I felt it was rude to film the consultation. But I'll show you when she comes back. We got the Levi here. He did great. We saw another doggy and he listened perfectly with medium value treats. And I am elated beyond belief. <laughs> That said, everything went great, and <laughs> she just has some mild inflammation from a reaction to the dissolving suture. So, um, all we have to do is put warm compresses on it until it goes away. And she's so happy because she has a work drive that's even more than Levi's. Like, if I don't work Levi, he turns into a psycho, and if I don't let her work when she wants to, then she gets really pissy. And if you know a pissy Labrador Retriever, female, then you know what I'm talking about. I just, I can't even explain it other than to just say that. And if you know, then you know, and if not, sorry. Ask someone with a female lab and they'll tell you. But isn't she the most beautiful princess in the whole world? The most beautiful. And you're good. See you at home. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm back in bed finally. I'm glad that I went because I got to train Levi, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, I'm so proud of Levi. He's really coming into his own recently. Like, I can't even express how happy it makes me. Like, my smile looks different when I smile about him because it's just like, it comes from right here. <laughs> Thank you for my hydration blueberry juice. Water in it. I can't hold this. Okay. I'll get you a thing for the straw. Okay, thank you. I just tried to pick up the blueberry juice and I was afraid I was gonna drop it, so mom's gonna get me another cup. I'm so tired, but my mental health, it's like good and bad at the same time. Like some of it's good and some of it's not good. This is how I vlog in my bed, is I put my one arm here and this and my elbow like that. Oh, sorry about my boobs, whatever, you'll live. 
and then I pan up like this and then that's how I hold it so my arms like a tripod <laughs> um, or a unipod just let him think about it open good boy now you have to pull it. Oh, now push. push. Ahead, ahead, ahead. Drop it. Good, drop it. Good boy. In, 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 in. Good boy. Yay. So clearly, Levi is working on opening the door from the other side. A lot of our tasks that involve walking, he's slacking on because he couldn't walk for like a total of a year of his life. He couldn't like really do anything that messed up his uh, knees or elbows or anything um, because I'm really mindful about making sure that his health is like 100% ahead of mine because that's an, an investment in myself you know i'm gonna eat that good good banana slices and rest so i'm hope i hope the see that's what i'm saying is that sometimes i will start a sentence and then start it again and not even like it's like a subconscious thing i can't believe i caught it oh my god yes i really think that i need to seek men mental health guidance on medical ptsd because I have a ton of doctor anxiety and I still do and I still like break down and cry before every single doctor's appointment because I'm afraid they're gonna tell me some things that other doctors have told me that were just like totally unacceptable and the way that they treated me was unacceptable and if you want to know about that go and watch my chronic illness journey video there are three are you my handsome guy were you the perfect angel at the vet it's 12.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Eating some bananas in a blueberry dish. The beautiful, amazing, and wonderful Sam oh. is making a cool cross stitch. It says, crippling anxiety is my cardio. Wow. You are prim and proper and have crippling anxiety. You're not wrong. Hey, it's me. As if it wouldn't be. It's 4.17 p.m. I just did some self-care. I've been resting all day since I got back from the vet. We are currently getting ready to head to my family's place in Clearwater. So I'm super pumped. My family in Clearwater are my mom's sister and her family. And they're out of town. And my grandma and my other aunt are um, house-sitting and babysitting and dog-sitting. We're gonna go hang for a few hours and then come back home. I'm pumped! So my aunt's house, they have like a lot of animals and allergens everywhere, even though they're also sick um, in the same way that I am, but mine is like much more progressed because of the co-infection of Lyme and Babesia. Um, an Epstein-Barr virus, but they have their own health problems that are in like the similar range of like dysautonomia and like extensions of it. Um, <clears throat> so like they understand that and it's a really comfortable place for me to be, so I'm pumped. My blood pressure is so low, it's hard for me to enunciate right now. <laughs> my apologies. I sound drunk. <laughs> Lol. You look so beautiful with the light behind you. You're just like an angel. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you in the car when we're all together and everything. I'm not feeling well, so I'm gonna go lay down in my grandma's room and then wait until it's time to leave because I'm having a 
super hard time. I declined really fast and I think the adrenaline's finally leaving my body from having a lot going on in the last few days, personally and emotionally. Thank you. I'm gonna put this back on and go rest. Just got home and I'm really sick. And I was just gonna end the vlog here because I have a lot of work to do before I can get back in bed. Okay, thanks for watching the vlog. I'm just never gonna be in focus, am I? <sighs> See you in the next one. <laughs>